Welcome everybody to this week's Mark Nofri Head Coaches Show, joined by the head coach of Sacred Heart Football, as always, Mark Nofri. And coach, it was a frustrating and tough loss at St. Francis, a tough trip. I thought you guys battled hard through some real adversity, but obviously you didn't get the result you wanted, but you have a new opportunity this week. So what is the message from last week to this week in practice? Well, going back, you know, to the St. Francis game, I think our kids played really hard. I think they played harder for the whole game. They didn't stop. They played the 60 minutes that we asked them to. Uh, it comes down to, you know, four or five plays to determine the course of a game, and those four or five plays didn't go our way. Um, you know, we didn't get the breaks that we were looking for, and um, they made the plays, those four or five plays, and turned the tide. And, you know, like I said, they got out of there with a win. Um, it's back to home this week. Uh, we talk about it each week. It starts on Monday, uh, preparation for this week's game. I think that if you have a great week of practice, which is something that you need to play well on Saturday, um, you have to get back to doing what we do. Uh, again, I can you can only control if how hard you play. If you're doing your job for the whole 60 minutes, you're playing hard, you're playing relentless, and you're doing what the coaches are asking you to do. Then it comes down to those four or five plays. And if we make those plays, we come out on top. If we don't, and we don't have a good week of practice, you know, chances are you're probably not going to win. But I think uh, the kids understand what's at stake. Uh, we talked about it this week a little bit. It'll be the first time. Uh, right now we're going after three consecutive winning seasons. We haven't done that since 2003 was the last time we did that. So we still want to play for a winning record. We still want to finish strong. Uh, we got some young kids playing. We got some, you know, some kids banged up like everyone else in the country does. But I think our mindset is that we're going to get back home here, uh, get back on a winning road or winning streak again, and, and hopefully play uh, well on Saturday. Moses Webb was a real bright spot with 107 yards on six receptions. He was one of six targets for RJ Noel, so he spread out the offense and got everyone involved. What did you think of the offensive performance and particularly RJ kind of involving everybody? Uh, you know, like I said, RJ's been a three-year starter for us, and uh, he's actually doing a great job. Again, um, I think Moses play, played one of his better games. Moses is having a really a tremendous uh, senior year for us this year, and obviously the last three weeks he's been playing both sides of the ball. So we, he's been doing double duty, and he's just, again, he's a great kid that does whatever he's asked of him, gives us 100% on and off the field, and I'm very happy for him that he's having such a great senior season. Um, RJ, like I said, he understands. Coach Bowles and Coach Gardner do a great job uh, getting the ball to our playmakers. You know, during the week, they, uh, they scheme things up, and they want to make sure the guys that are our playmakers are touching the ball, and, and they do that each week, and they pick out the guys and put them in position to succeed, and RJ uh, finds them, and, you know, like I said, we had a good week of practice, Last week, and I thought they performed well on Saturday. It's just a few plays here or there, and it's a different story. Despite the injuries really affecting the defense, they are still doing the job as far as taking the ball away, getting to the quarterback, and stopping the run. Can you talk about the defense and the adversity they've faced and what they've been able to do through it? Well, they, you know, like I said before, uh, defense is part of uh, a mentality. You know, they play hard. They run to the ball. Um, they play, play relentless, and uh, it's part of what they preach on defense for, you know, the defensive coaches. Uh, Coach Wisman, Coach Embler, Coach Cook, Coach Livingston, done a great job. Uh, next man up. Somebody goes down, they got somebody else that steps up, and uh, they, get, they work hard all week trying to get those guys ready. Um, it's, it's the next guy up syndrome, you know, that we talk about. And they spend a lot of time making sure they put those kids in the right situation, but they're constantly preaching, you know, to play hard, per, play relentless. And, you know, nobody gives you anything, and you got to play fast. you got to play aggressive. And that's what defense is about. Um, and I think they do a great job instilling that into our kids, putting our kids in a position to succeed. Um, and like I said, it's been that way for us all year, and hopefully it continues this Saturday. Well, this Saturday is also important besides the game in that it is the date we're celebrating your successful battle against cancer. It's the Nope Tackles Cancer Game, the blue out. Normally we like to see red at Sacred Heart, but you see I'm wearing my blue today. And we hope everyone will on that day. What does it mean to you to be able not only to, to celebrate your victory over cancer, but help others uh, and the Colon Cancer Society? Well, it, it starts with uh, the support that I've received here from the university. You know, I, I say it all the time. There's a reason why I've been here 22 years, and I think it goes back to um, the people that you come in contact with every day, the student athletes that we have, the administration. It's a, it's a real special place. Um, I've gotten so much support from people here. Uh, like I said, other teams, student athletes that I don't coach or don't even know, 
um, showing their support for me. The administration has been phenomenal. Uh, the players on the team, the coaches that I coach with have been great. And I, like I said, they've done nothing more um, than give me the support that I need. They're behind me 100%. And uh, it just, it's a great place and it means a lot to me to have the people that I work with and my colleagues and kids that we don't even coach uh, support the Colon Cancer Alliance and understand that, you know, what I went through and would do anything for me to help me out in situations like that. And this Saturday, you know, like I said, we're going to raise money and donate it back to the Colon Cancer Alliance and uh, I'm looking for a pretty good turnout. And again, I couldn't be thankful for all the support I received here at the university. And even if you can't make it to that game, you can support the Colon Cancer Alliance by visiting nofttacklescancer.com. And so we come to the game on Saturday now. There is an opponent. It is mm -hmm. Duquesne. They're good. Uh, what do you expect from the Dukes on Saturday and what do you guys need to do to defend your home turf? Well, they're a good football team. You know, they were, uh, I actually voted them uh, first in the preseason polls. Uh, they got an outstanding quarterback receiver. They got two backs this year that are really good, and uh, they're leading the conference in offense right now. Um, they're a good football team. Defensively, you know, they fly around. They got some very good linebackers. They got a secondary that will come downhill and hit you. Uh, we got our work cut out for us. You know, like I said, we need to show up and play what we can control. Excitement, enthusiasm, play for 60 minutes play our game. Don't hurt ourselves with penalties. Don't hurt ourselves with turnovers, which we've done a great job the last few weeks in getting better at those. And then when it comes down to it, you got to make those plays at the end of the game to put ourselves on top. And like I said, we're looking forward to coming home. Uh, we're looking forward to playing Duquesne. It's a chance to be a team that's in first place right now and uh, play something, play for something for the end of the year. And, and our kids will be ready to go on Saturday because we're going to need to be to beat them. Coach, thanks so much for the time and good luck Saturday. Thank you. All right, really looking forward to Saturday. Again, it's the Nove Tackles Cancer game, wear your blue, and get your tickets at sacredheartpioneers.com slash tickets. See you Saturday against Duquesne.